solving conflicts, step number four, discuss. Proverbs 27 verses 5 and 6, open rebuke is better than love carefully concealed. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. The fourth step that we must take in order to resolve conflicts uh, in interpersonal relationships is to lovingly discuss and address the matter. So the first three steps that we've talked about are steps of personal preparation. That is, I go before God, I prepare my heart, I let God deal with things that need to be set right in my heart. Step number two, I receive God's capacity to love and to forgive so I don't go there with grudges and hurts and bitterness and anger in my heart. But I've already love, I all, I'm walking in love and I've released forgiveness for whatever may have happened in the past. Step number three, I've received God's wisdom. So God, with God's wisdom, I know what I'm going to talk about. What are the real things that need to be addressed? So now we make the time to sit together and discuss the matter. We uh, lovingly discuss and address the issues. But when we do that, we have to do it correctly. Remember, the Bible says open rebuke is better than secret love. That means I need to talk about things openly uh, while I'm, and I'm doing it with love rather than uh, put those matters away uh, and just walk with pretenses. When we pretend, we're not helping either our parties that are involved, but we openly speak about things and things that need to be corrected must be put out on the table and addressed. Open rebuke, open correction, dealing with those issues are so important rather than saying, oh, I'm just going to walk in love and not address the issues that need to be addressed. The wounds of a friend are faithful, meaning even though difficult matters are addressed, even though difficult issues are being spoken of, those wounds, those initial discomfort, they are faithful. Uh, they are done with the right intent. They are done with the intent of building up and restoring the relationship and not with the intent of harming the other person or putting the other person down or in any way uh, making things worse. So lovingly discuss the matter, address issues that need to be addressed, talk about difficult issues because those have to be addressed if this relationship is going to be uh, restored for the long term. So whether it's a workplace situation, whatever kind of situation, we need to, need to lovingly address matters that need to be addressed and do it with love, knowing that the ultimate purpose is the restoration of friendship. Let's pray together. Father, we ask you for grace. Lord God, wherever relationships have broken down, where human interactions have been broken down, we ask for your intervention, God, and that the things we are learning, we will be able to apply and see friendships restored so that we could walk in peace with each other. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.